Hi everyone, my name is W Alex, and today we're continuing with Pokemon Legends Arceus. And we're still kind of learning the game. You're doing pretty well for a mystery stranger from the sky. Keep bringing that up. <laughs> Here, a little reward for keeping up with me. Your own crafting kit. Ooh, can I craft it whenever I want now? Crafting, even when there's no workbench around. Yeah. That's nice. <clears throat> I was worried you couldn't craft stuff without going to the camp or stuff. So that's neat. You obtained a recipe for crafting potions. With a crafting kit, you can craft items anywhere using whatever materials are in your sh uh, satchel. So long as you've got an apricorn and a tumblestone, you can make a pokeball anytime. Or with an orange berry and a medicinal leak, you can whip up a potion. So heal up your Pokemon whenever they need healing. Research going all right. You can see if you've got tasks ready to turn in on the Pokebox. Pokedex's cover. Oh. I should have a few ready to be delivered. Once you've got some tasks good and done, go check in with Pokemon Lab. With Professor Leventon. See you soon. Ooh. That means I can continue. Ooh, Ponyta. I caught a few. But... I can battle one. Didn't know I could use that stuff yet. So it does. does this kill them? No. Hmm, okay. I'll probably grab a few berries here. Looking like some purple stone I could pick up. Ooh, tumble stone. Get up low down. Running around. One leak. Uh, I probably can't go there. Oh. Okay, that's a big one. Wait, you saw me already? Can I get you? Not even close. Oh, shit. Let's not get hit by that. Mm. Probably not. Send him Rowlet. Oh shit, it's level 40. What the f What the fuck? And why did you just. Hell yeah, I want to run away. No way, I'm fighting that thing. 
Get away, get away, get away. Oh, I'm gonna come back for you. Is that something? I think I'll just continue with the story. Catch one of its minions. Hey. Well, let's hurry back to the camp and then continue with the story. So I really want to see other areas. And also figure out what uh, what's up with the Pokebox and stuff. Because I don't want to run around with... There's several Bidoofs and several Starbys. Mm, no. Then... Hey, Professor. I'm back. Oh, if it isn't a crafting kit. You must have listened attentively. To raise teachings. Excellent work, dear girl. This seems a good time to explain to you about some of the reports and the rewards they offer. You submit survey reports, you will receive money based on the level and number of Pokemon you've caught. You receive more money if you with, fulfill certain conditions, such as just catching a species for the first time. On that note, let me check the research tasks you complete thus far. Mm, got a few Pokemon. 17. Six for the first time? Mm. They did not count the first three catches of. Stall Ishings and Bidoof. And I see. Most illuminating. I will update our Pokedex with this new data. Sure. And her build. Mm -hmm. Okay. As you carry on tasks and complete the Pokedex, this is your look. Also, gain, re gain research points. Mm. You'll be able to move up through the ranks of the... Yeah, sure. Oh, so the forms is both female and male. I guess that. Okay, that's nice to know. an easy level up. You made a good progress on these research tasks, Alex. I do believe you're ready to move up the ranks. Let's head back to the ca uh, to the village and report the good news to Captain Saline. It's time you earned your yourself a star. Does that mean? <clears throat> For progress to the port, I will judge its readiness. Show me your Pokédex. Sure. Hmm, you've made progress. It seems you have earned yourself a star. Kinda necessary for me to open the thing. With this, you have officially attained the rank of first star in the Galaxy Expedition Team. Let's go! Only nine more to go! You can 
now use heavy balls. Ooh. Pokemon up to level 20 will also bail all the reliably and battle. The rewards you earn for your survey reports will be more generous now too. Ooh. Have these as well. They are further recipes you'll need for crafting. You obtain the recipe for crafting heavy balls. Ooh, that's nice. Uh, I want black tumblers now. Okay, where do I get that stuff? And I got live already. Okay. I'm never gonna need it. My Pokemon won't die at all. Stranger like you should fall from the sky and yet flourish among us like this is a testament to your native talent in Harlow. Most people prefer it when things are simple enough to be judged on face value alone. And providing your worth by moving up to our ranks is something anyone can understand. Keep at it. And even if you did fall from the sky, people may be more willing to accept you. Working your way through the ranks will also be a help if you wish to make a life for yourself here. A higher rank will grant you access to more types of Pokeballs and great rewards. For today at least, you've earned yourself a meal at the Wallflower and a good night's rest. So, Alex, my girl. I believe a jolly good congratulations is in order. Well done on earning your first star rank. Our usual order of potato mochi tastes even better when there is something to celebrate. Hey, by the way, have you taken another request? Beer gold hat. Yeah. I did. <coughs> Well, most people here don't know much about Pokemon. <clears throat> You've noticed, right? So it's our job as a survey corps to take care of any issues that crop up because of that. We're basically Pokemon problem solvers. Indeed so. Some people will ask you for help when you talk with them, while other requests will be need to be claimed from the blackboard I keep in my lab. <clears throat> Speaking of which, weren't you approached with a request recently, Ray? What's it all about? That one might be a better fit for Alex than me. I don't think I would be able to pull it off unless I get a better Pokemon at battling first. Better Pokemon battling at first. <laughs> ah, yes, that request came from my... Of the uh, Diamond Clan, if I recall it correctly. The people of the Diamond Clan have lived, lived here in history since before the Team Galaxy arrived. If we could establish good relations, I'm sure there's much we might learn from them, including more about local Pokemon. But we can discuss all that tomorrow. For today, we should eat up and get some rest. The next day. Hey Alex, before I go meet Mai about that request, mind showing me how you do in battle? Of course. Eat you up. Great, I'll be at the training rounds. If you've been catching a lot of Pokemon, you can change up your team at the pastures. Just so you know. Should probably also turn in the side quests. I'm finished. So I think... You wanted to see a Starly. Oh, did I not complete the book? Okay, so I need to catch more Starlies. 
Well, it's fine. Sure, you can get this mumble. You really bought, brought me one. You must be as good as the rumors say. I'd like to name this Wumple right away. Now, I've been told a Wumple will evolve into a Pokemon known as Beautyfly. So I should give it a name with that in mind. Hmm, this is a tough decision. Which of these do you uh, like the best? Beautisha, Beautyfred, or Beugene? I think it was a female, so I'll go with Beautisha. Yeah, I like Beautisha too. I guess that's it decided then. I'd raise Beautisha to be a spl splendiferous beautiful. Wait and see. Yeah, you do that, my guy. Dazzling honey. Nice. That's the only request I can actually deliver in. Unless there's more. Uh, is that fast roll? Hmm, seems like it. So that's where I can drop off the Pokemon. Interesting. Okay, gonna do that before I leave this place then. <laughs> Thanks for taking a minute for me. I know your plate's full right now. Nah, nah, nah. It's always fine. I can always beat you. I'm going to be straightforward with you about something. And that is... I don't understand how anyone can handle taking on Pokemon in battle. I know I'm a survey corps member, and I've even got my own partner, but I just can't do it. Your partner? That's right, take a look at my very own partner. Of course he has a Pikachu. This is my Pikachu. During that Shinx attack, I should have had Pikachu fight at my side, but my mind just went blank. And, uh, really, when you get it right down to it, Pokemon terrifying, right? Why should this thing be able to fire electricity? Hmm, poor guy. Big guy. But watching you at work, uh, completing those research, research tasks convinced me. If I want to do st uh, my survey cops work well, my partner I have, and I have got to be a... Uh, team and our first step toward being a real team is to battle your team i mean sure i will crush, crush you but one pokemon okay that's the one i wanted to start with sure oh level nine that's higher than i expected from it I wanted to switch. That's how I switch. I wish the battles didn't let me think about it. Of course, I get paralyzed from that. I don't really have much to fight. Uh, Pikachu, to be honest. But this should be fine unless I get paralyzed. Nah, go look and carry. It's fine. Whoa, you seem in sync with your Pokemon. Ooh, that's a lot of EXP. 
Uh, that was amazing. The way you fight alongside your Pokemon. You don't seem one bit scared of bat battling. We will just have to catch up as best we can. Right, Pikachu? We got... Ah, fair enough. Pikachu's got a bit of a tendency to attack, you see. That's why he normally stays in his ball. I guess the first step for Pikachu and me might be getting a little friendlier. Friendlier with it. One of them. One another. Oh, by the way, the professor said Pokemon have these things called types, which apparently make a big difference in how battles go. Pikachu hair seems to be an electric type, for example. Yeah, so this circle is super effective. Yeah. So you're the one. The, that new recruit everyone's talking about. Who's this? The name's Sisu, captain of the security corps. See if you got some fight in you. Figured I'd stop by and give what advice I could. Captain Sisu is a master of an ancient martial art. Where you guide Pokemon in battle. Now listen, if your Pokemon's truly mastered its moves, you can actually use them in different styles. On the one hand, you can choose to deliver a move in the strong style. The move will deal more damage, but afterward it will take longer for your Pokemon to act. On the other hand, you can choose to unleash a move in the Agile's Angel style. Such as some such a move will have less power behind it, but your Pokemon can act more quite quickly afterward. In truly favorable conditions, it might even get out two moves before now the opponent can act. Strong style moves, agile style moves, and of course agile moves. Choose which is right for a given situation and direct your Pokemon with a little nudge. So Agile style even uses more PP. Uh, both use more PP, okay. And I guess that makes sense. Oh, and one more thing. If you want to teach your Pokemon some powerful moves, just let me know. Well, that's certainly handy to find out about before going to tackle my request. You remember, I mentioned it earlier. I'm heading down now to see about my request. I'm supposed to meet her down past the foot of Aspiration Hill. You should come along too. Get ready, then meet us down there, would you? And by ready, I mean double checking what Pokemon you will bring. And maybe even teaching them some new moves from Sisu. I'm gonna see what she can give me. Here are the training grounds, so Pokemon can master their moves, all the new moves. Hello there, Survey Cops. Good. Did you need something for me? I want new moves. So, which of your other Pokemon do you want me to teach her? Mm, let's do Shins. Aha, uh -huh, okay. I guess going for this with a little stab. Huh. Sure, I can have shinks for that. It's just good. Here we go. Yeah! <laughs> oh yeah, I can choose the moves whenever I want, can I? Okay, this look like I can't do anything more but here. And I guess I'll go switch out Pokemon. Can't I just fast roll? Yeah, I can. Let's talk with... Nah, I can do that later. So this is the pastures. Ooh, look at this. 
It's a shame squeeze the planet down. So it kind of shows some of the Pokemon I have in the Pokebox. The pastures house the many Pokemon you catch. Collect them here. From here to change up your party. Do you have some Pokemon you would like to leave here with me? Yes. Uh, let's leave. One big doof. Grab the Ponyta and... Grab the Breezel for now. I think this is gonna be fine. Yeah. Huh? Let's just... Uh, not there. There, I think. Change moves. Uh, let's just give you... Full swipe for now. Yes. Change moves, give you a thunder fang. So, I think that's gonna be fine for now. And let's head out. And back into the field landscape. come from? Did I surprise you? I bet I did. I was trying to anyway. <laughs> Surprise me. There's a secret te technique to catching Pokemon, you see. It's what I call the secret backstrike technique. Hitting a Pokemon's back with your Pokeball will surprise it, making it easier to catch or giving you an advantage once a battle starts. So nail a Pokemon at the back of the head to catch it easier. If you're part of the Survey Corps now, working to create that Pokedex as they all are, you might end up meeting every last Pokemon here in Hisui. Oh, I will. You should know I'm already looking forward to the day you accomplish that. So, who are you? Oh, you're that girl from the Survey Corps. Fell from the sky, aren't you? Listen here a moment. I need to tell you about this great cake lure recipe I invented. I call it the mushroom cake. I poured 20 years of mushroom forging to know how into coming up with this recipe. And I just know it's a winner. Problem is, the folks around here just aren't catching on to my recipe's amazing potential. But you're the talk of the village. If people see you making my mushroom cakes, famous as you are, I'm sure they'll want to give it a go too. I'll teach you the recipe. All you have to do in return is spread the good word by using it. Oh, and you'll need to go... Need to go get the key ingredient for the recipe yourself. Scrunch not from the forges of thy fellows, as the old saying goes. One spring of mushrooms all you need. I'll be waiting. Sure. I haven't even seen the mushroom, I think. Not now, Biloof. Let me catch some stallies. You moved. A nice back strike. Is that high enough? Oh, sure is.
I guess I also have to use Dolly to get the research tasks complete. I can stop crouching. Now, if only I could find some black tumblestone. I should have you. Oh, okay. Mm, okay. I wonder what the criteria for use being able to use the agile style and strong style moves are. Uh, do we need to master the moves? Or? Maybe. Is there any more stallies just around here? No, doesn't seem like it. Uh, how is stallie going on? I need to defeat a few. Then I think it should be fine. Also, catching them without being spotted. Well, I can do that afterwards. Or in between videos. There are many strong Pokemon that make their home on the other side of this bridge. I can't let you pass unless you are first. Oh, at your rank, you should be fine. Go on then. Don't let your guard down now. Retreat to safety if you find yourself in trouble. So now I can just pass across this bridge. I didn't even notice the bridge was there, so... I guess that's fine. Ooh, looking stylish. Over here. This here is Alex. My, my. A new face in the village. Not that it matters to me if you're new. If you're here, I assume you're prepared to be of help. I sure am. I'm one of the wardens of the Diamond Clan. You may call me Mai. I suppose you might not even know what a warden is, if you're new to history. But such talk can wait. Right now I'd rather we get straight to the point. I have a problem that I need help solving. So the more important question is this. Do you feel confident that you can lead your Pokemon in battle? Of course I can. That's good to hear. That security corpse of yours certainly wasn't up to the task. This here is my partner, Manchlax. We were raised together like siblings. He battles at my side by choice without needing any silly little balls like you use. Watch and learn. Stolly stud. <laughs> yeah, he's probably gonna just gonna keep doing it all out. Wait, did, did I not? Okay, I need to make sure it learns the new move. Walling in close up when he missed. Oh, that hurts way more than I thought it would. Send out Carlos.
Oof. Well, ah, uh, should be quicker. So. He's faint. Even got a stand load on our tights. Uh, you really aren't one of those usual galaxy boom buffoons if you could defeat my partner. Well fought, man, Schlags. And an earth string on her jacket. Nice. I'll take care of the Pokemon ba uh, that battled for us. Ooh, how kind. Now I'll let you have these. You people, you people make all kinds of things with your crafting, don't you? T-shirt pro to be useful materials. Ten five heavy chokes. You and your Pokemon fought well together. You practically acted as one with them. Rather like the legendary hero of old. The one we tell stories of to our children. I think you're indeed the one for the job. You see, I need some someone to deal with an alpha. Pokemon causing trouble upon their track heights. It is a large, fearsome foe, like any alpha. But you will come, won't you? To their track heights. <laughs> sure I will. Your arc phone is beeping. Is that a strange thing, Gummy? Of yours telling you where to go? My my, that is some curious sort of map. Is that one of those galaxy team inventions I keep hearing about? It certainly does seem to show the way to their track heads up ahead of us. I'll leave this bit to, to you. You shouldn't have any problem handling an alpha. It seems to be quite an asset to the server corps. New one. So, before we continue, I must ask, do you already know about Almighty Sinnoh? Almighty what now? I suppose that's to be expected. Allow me to sketch out the basics. Almighty Sinnoh stares all time. It's said to have created the very universe using its power over time's flow in this land of history it was born. In the process. So they call Arceus Sino in this time period. It's by the grace of Almighty Sino that Pokemon can live and thrive there. We of the Diamond Clan are descendants of a people who crossed the sea and settled here in the history region to venerate Almighty Sino. However, stole away from the world long ago, hiding itself from our sight. Almighty Sinnoh has only rarely been seen by any human, if the old tales are to be trusted. But there are still Pokemon here today in history with a connection to Almighty Sinnoh. And it is the duty of wardens like myself to attend their, to their needs. Pokemon that graces their track heights is one of those honored few. It is directly descended from a po uh, Pokemon that was blessed with Almighty Sinnoh's protection. Follow me and you may understand. Oh, cricket out. I'm just trying to see if there's black tumblestone around. So you're also running away. And there he goes. Um, probably. No, oh, I didn't wanna. Mm. You probably go. Oh, that's a uh, baby choke. This one. Yup. Nice. 
Nice. Oh. That's another mad Pokemon. Floatzel. I don't think I'll go into a fight with you. I do want to know what level here it is. 31. Okay, that's not as bad. But it's still one hit. Uh, um, yep. I'm gonna run away. Because there's no point in trying. Gonna catch you later, Floatzel. Don't worry. So there doesn't seem to be more new Pokemon around here. Except for the... Little Cricket Ass. Grab those apricorns. Oh, what's that star? Yawn. Oh there, mind helping a guy out? I'm after some cherry berries. You know them? The shiny red ones. They grow on some of the trees around here, but I don't have any Pokemon that can reach them for me. That's where you come in, friend. Throw so one of your Pokeballs at a berry tree. And your Pokemon will grab the berries you for you. Be sure the Pokeball you throw has a Pokemon uh, in it, mind. It'll be shame I waste a waste on empty Pokeball. If you hand me three of the cherry berries you get, I'll tell you another handy tip. I do have a few. Oh, could you give me three of those cherry berries you have there? Sure, here we go. Thanks, now then. Here's that handy tip I was talking about. You can throw a bear in a wild Pokemon to grab their attention and keep them distracted. Why not give it a try on some of the cricket up around here? I'll let caught. Caught one? So. Don't think I'm gonna catch many more. No. Pep up plant. Okay. Oh, thank you, dude. Of course, he's an angry fellow. So, will this kill? I don't know. No. Okay, that's good. Oh, I was too close. Uh, still kind of getting used to the menus. Nice. And I'm t tumble stone. Oh, that's black tumble stone. Nice. And also, how would I should be getting close to evolving? Wait, what's up with that tumble stone? Why is it shaking? Oh, that's why. So this, the rocks still have geodes in them. Like it did before. Oh, I can just catch you. Wait, are you trying to hit me? It looks like he's actually trying to get, get a hit in on me. Just clap me before I get going. That's sound? Oh, you're just showing off. Nah, okay. But, before we continue, 
I'm going to leave this episode here. So, thanks for watching. And I'll hopefully see you in the next one. Bye.